Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for always stopping by, liking, commenting, and subscribing. For the new ones, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified when I drop the next update on I do. Stay tuned on today's episode on I do. Danvi gets an idea and tells Nawab that he wanted to tell about Ahio as he was close to telling the truth and how it made her kill Rehan. She tells him today that none shall save his son Ahio and today he shot down right in front of him. She frees him and takes him to the window showing him Ahio, his son. He gets overwhelmed to see his own son after so many years and how he used to caress him and was very affectionate towards him even though he couldn't ever show it. She taunts him that his son is so tensed for her, wondering what she's doing here, having seen her car. She blackmails him that if he doesn't tell about her daughter, she shall kill Ahil, his son, right away. When she aims the pistol, he gets scared and sees her daughter is with his friend in a safe custody and says he shall give the phone number. She's relieved and finally dials that number out in the open. She sends a voice message finally after she isn't able to get through. She says she is her mother and how she had been separated at birth. But now Destiny brought her with her again and asked the girl to call her once she gets this voice message as she wants to meet her. But she's shocked when she finds her heel calling out to her. He asks what she's doing here. Tammy pretends to be relieved saying that she was very scared and hence came here to see him at the doll factory. She hugs him while he's still baffled and asks what's, what's there in this factory and what's the secret that she never wanted him to be here. She continues to make an excuse but he's sure there's something, some secret and talks about Suleiman's litter. Tanvi asks him not to believe and again tries to mislead and misguide him away from the truth. She asks him not to be involved in stupid stuff as she has already lost one son and she can't afford to lose another. She drags him out but her leg gives away due to the broken heel and starts limping. Sanam comes and stands in front of Nawab. She tells him that he feels guilty of having killed him all these years. He expresses his helplessness due to Tanvi. She tries to untalk him but he says that he's okay and asks her to go and save her heel as otherwise Tanvi shall kill him. She says she can't leave him like this. Nawab tells Sanam to go and tell her heel that he's alive. When she's overwhelmedly, when she overwhelmedly tells about her identity and saves him from Tanvi, she rushes out. She comes face to face with the new bride who tries to stop her, but she throws her away and then leaves. The new bride is shocked to find her head hurt. In the ground, a voice calls from behind, asking them to stop. Ahio turns around and is shocked to find Sanam. Tanvi is angry at her problem. He rushes to Sanam and asks what she's doing here. She says that Tanvi would give him the answer to all the questions as she had kept her captive. Ayo asked her to stop this nonsense. She says he knew he wouldn't believe her. She says the truth is that her mother is such a criminal with a very long list of crime. And that this is the woman who killed her parents and who kept her away from her own twin sister for 20 years. Ayo is shocked to hear this. Tanvi comes and asks how can she kill them as she never knew them. Ahio tells about how he saw the picture together. She says that it must have been the picture of her giving gift. She reminds him how she had told Sanam that she doesn't know Sanam and Ahio. She blackmails him saying how could he doubt her and if this is what she shall get for all her sacrifices. She brands her a lion about a twin sister and instead dons it against Sanam, asking why she never told him about this. Sanam says that she wanted to tell but wanted to get solid evidence as he worships his mother and wouldn't believe anything against her. Sanam says that she wanted to tell this all along that the woman who jilted her at the altar was her sister. He remembers the weird behavior that Seha used to have with him around. Ahil connects the dot and is baffled and boggled. Tanvi asks that Sanam should have brought her sister in front of her. Sanam says that he was in the mood of not believing her then despite her trying to tell him time and again. Sanam and Tanvi enter into an argument and counter argument in which Ahim finds it baffling who to believe and who not to believe. Tanvi pretends to be hurt as to how Ahim for whom she sacrificed 
her whole life isn't saying anything to Sanam, who is forcefully accusing her. Sanam says that she used her own sister to burn a huge diary that could have led him to exposing Tave. The new bride is shocked to see all of them and thinks that if Tavi places the blame on her, she would lose her heel forever. She decides to leave the place. Seha finds a log of wood with nail in it and tries to set her handcuff free. She succeeds and then tries to unlatch the wood that's locked from outside. She finally is able and then rushes out. Tavi asks Anna why has she called him here? Sanam says that she won't say anything and she just wants him to come inside to see the truth, the biggest truth of his life, his father's truth. Ahu is shocked and Tavi tries to nullify her argument. Sanam says that it's a lie and that the truth is that his father is alive. She tries to convince Ahu otherwise but Sanam asks him to come inside. Sanam tries to drag him inside Why Tavi says that there must be some danger inside. Tanvi eyes someone and sees that she feels someone is coming, whose sweet step she can sense. They both turn and are shocked to find Seha standing there. Tanvi is relieved to have distracted him. While Ahil confronts Tanvi and Sanam, Seha too comes and stands beside them. Seha tells Tanvi that the criminal always lose trial behind. She says that she came with naked foot, then how did she hear her footstep and her arrival? Tanvi is at loss for an answer. She says that the truth is that Tanvi didn't hear her coming but saw her coming. Tanvi is shocked. The screen freezes on her heel and Tanvi's shocked and stunned face as one having the, known the truth and the other having the truth revealed in front of the other. Thank you guys for watching today's update on I do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned. For more updates. Bye.